So the way they do uh, tile work in Jamaica is uh, a little different. In fact, it's a lot different from the way they do things in the States. Um, they actually tile out a lot of places. They tile out the whole wall. This isn't quite all tiled out the whole wall, but it's a good space off of the shower or bathtub area. One of the other things you're gonna notice right off the bat is this is the shower curb, which is not really a curb at all. It's a step over. Um, and you're gonna notice something else too. Yes, so the faucet is here. A lot of times what they do um, when they get a shower valve, they don't throw out, if they're gonna build a shower, they don't throw out the spout. If they build a shower, they leave the spout here. And in this case, they didn't put a spout here, they put a, um, a spigot, a water spigot. Um, and then of course you have the one shower valve here. So there's a couple reasons for this. Um, a lot of people don't, I'm not saying a lot, some people don't have hot water in Jamaica, so there's no point to have a hot and a cold. There's only cold. And um, sometimes even still, there's also a tank that sits up on, on top of the roof over, and that actually feeds the water that comes in through here. So I don't know if that's the case in this house, but either which way, that's the reason why you have one valve. And then of course, this is plumbed differently. You don't have the spout, so therefore you don't have the diverter. This is plumbed for the shower, and this is plumbed separately for what would be the tub spout otherwise. Uh, the reason is, as I've already shown you, this area right here is quite large, so it's a bathtub or it's a shower. And that's actually kind of cool because um, you don't have to worry about your bathtub rusting out a lot of times here because of the salt air and everything. Metal bathtubs will rust out, so rather than have that being done, they just build this. And most people are going to use this as a shower, but if you want to use it for a bathtub, you could. Another interesting thing here that we don't see in the States is a large format tile. This isn't necessarily large format, but this is a larger tile than we would be used to in the States. And I have seen this not only here in Jamaica, but I've also seen it in Dominican Republic when I went there that um, they actually used like a 12 by 24 in the shower is bigger than this one. When they use a large format tile in the shower, they're able to taper all the shower, the tile shower down to the drain, and then the back tile get, get down, tapered down to the drain. Um, so that taper is still there, and the taper is still here, so that everything still goes in the drain. No need for a drain cap. A lot of times here in Jamaica, this is what we call gray water. So it's innocuous, it doesn't, it's not sewage water, in other words. So this actually goes outside. Sometimes it actually feeds the flower beds and things like that that are outside of this wall because this is an exterior wall. So the water would empty out from this drain over here and, and kind of go this direction and then kind of feed the flower bed at the same time. So again, um, there's not, you know, the plumbing is a little different. Not all houses are like that, but some are. And this one is one of those I remember uh, years ago, I had stayed in the grill and the shower drain was like this, but it was at the very, very end of the shower. So all the tile was a large format tile that sloped down to the end with the drain down at the end of the wall. And then when you go outside, you could actually see the pipe, you know, feeding into the dirt outside. So that's kind of the way things are done. There's no reason that tilers could not do a large tile like this in the States, but if we were to do that, more than likely we put a lineal drain. When I was at Dominican Republic, that's what I saw, is a lineal drain um, down here toward the end. Um, either which way, large format tile does work in a shower. It's just that we don't necessarily do it all the time. And then uh, they have the strips here, the plastic strips. These are plastic, and as you can see, they did a little 45 cut all the way around this window. And they have an aluminum window, so it's not gonna rust or anything. And of course, on the edge here, they finished out the edge of the tile with these uh, plastic strips as well, both on the inside and the outside. Another thing here is that they don't pour shower pans. This is all complete concrete. Even when they actually built the house, they sloped the concrete down to where the drain's going to go. So they don't have to worry about shower pans and red guarding and do all the stuff that we do in the States. Um, it's a whole different animal. These walls are also solid block and concrete, and um, so therefore, there's never any danger of water penetration ruining walls because we're not dealing with the same construction methods as, um, as we would be in the States. So anyway, that's, uh, that's just a little peek inside some of the tiling that's done in Jamaica. And um, it's, uh, it's different, it's interesting. 
Here is another, another example of um, a tile job in Jamaica. This is a bathroom, obviously a tub combo, tub shower combo. Uh, a little different. Um, they set this apparently, I'm just guessing, but they, they had concrete poured on, this is a second story, and of course there's about five inches, six inches of concrete below here. And so for whatever reason, they set this on top um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they, they took some concrete up on top of where the actual level of the, of the floor is and um, put tile in front of that because it's flush with the tub. Um, I thought it was stuck to the tub, but it's not. It's flush. So I don't know why they set the tile, or I don't know why they set the tub up like that. Um, tubs are generally five foot long, and they built this wall out knowing, knowing that it was five foot long, so they did a little... A little fill-in area here and I don't know I, I'm, I'm guessing this was intentional so there would be a little shelf on the back I don't know that to be true but it's a little different this is usually the lip of the tub um, is where your wall board would go and then tile would overlap that and, and hide this lip and the lip is exposed so a um, little, little different um, they trimmed out this with some plastic trim which is, as they did on the wall here you're not going to find um, what we're used to with the uh, aluminum trim. It's all going to be plastic here. And did a nice little 45 cut went around. There's a little thickness, a little build up on this. So um, obviously there's no lippage. The tile is all flush. Um, not much more to say about this. We have hot cold and a diverter for the tub area. Uh, there's some mold and mildew going on here, even though there's absolutely no wallboard in Jamaica whatsoever. It's a concrete wall behind here, so I don't know the mold and mildew, um, what that's from. Usually that has to do with your wallboard getting wet, and um, it seems to be all the way around where the water is at. So, I guess we can... Uh, dispel the myth that uh, concrete doesn't get moldy and mildew because this obviously does. Um, this is a nice little design they put here in the center. One of the things about in Jamaica, you don't generally see, you see solid tile, but more often than not you see pattern tile. What I mean by pattern tile is that all of this tile, this would be say for a large floor, or something like that and you would have the pattern so all four tile have to match up pretty obvious but anyway that's that's very typical and that they got a large looks like a 16 inch tile with this little pattern this little diamond pattern is kind of cool um not not a bad job not a bad job at all i like it Obviously, you can tell what this is. That is um, true mosaic where they have taken broken up tile that they couldn't do anything with and they just set it on their uh, walkway. So through the years, the concrete has cracked and settled, but um, the tile remains. And uh, it's, it's not a bad idea. It's a little slippery when it's wet, but there's enough of this cement to take up for the slipperiness. Um, and then they did this little walkway here with some bricks and a wet saw would go right through a conch shell. So this sliver is probably about a half an inch thick at best and they did a lot of these slivers and embedded them into the concrete which is kind of a cool idea. Um, I have done it on a couple of jobs where I've taken a conch shell and made little sliver pieces off of it. This is kind of a cool idea. This is, uh, again, cinder block uh, grill, an outdoor grill. And uh, they tiled it a little bit, but then they put this rock, they embedded this rock into the concrete on the side. Kind of fancy it up a little bit, so. Not really tile, but kind of a cool idea to, uh, to do something that doesn't cost very much. This is another typical shower tub combo where it was never tiled. 
and the fact that it wasn't tiled, I guess, is kind of irrelevant. These are cinder block, so all the construction, as I've said already, is all cinder block. The bench here is cinder block, the walls, um, the step over, and as I've already mentioned on part of this video, um, this doubles as a bathtub, so here you have your tub spout, um, which is not a tub spout, it's a spigot. And then you have your single valve here. The single valve, because more than likely either they only have cold water, a lot of people in Jamaica don't have the water heater, um, or they're running from the tank, and the tank would be on, on top of here, and it would the pipe would come down into to here. So the tank gets filled up, so that's how you end up getting your water for your shower. Um, but again, these are tub shower combos, so if you wanted to, you could clog up the hole and use this as a bath rather than a shower. And there's the drain. Again, this is this is gray water, so more than likely it just goes outside. It, it they they do have um, sewage here, so it could possibly go to sewage, but I doubt it. It probably runs outside. And so this is something we would never ever see in the states because nobody would want to step over such a high area. Although you you still do that if you go into a tub, I suppose. Um, at some point, they'll probably tile this, but again, it's not really needed because it's all concrete. Um, so, that's, that's a bare looking shower there. So, this is a pattern type uh, tile that I was mentioning earlier. These are also, it looks like 16 inch tile, 16, that's about right, about 16 uh, inch tile, maybe 17. And so all these tile have a specific pattern so that you end up with diamond in the middle everywhere you look and then you have the center mm -hmm. square everywhere you look and then and then these tile are kind of uh, diamond shape not diamond shape but octagon type shape and and so that that tile is not these are all individual tile obviously but there's so there's no full looking tile here. You either have this octagon type of thing or you have the diamond or you have the centerpiece um, with this tile. So it's all over this floor. Uh, and only thing I probably would have done different, they have this like bone type grout which is fake obviously because this tile isn't separate pieces of tile. The only thing I probably would have done different rather than looks like they, that's not even grout, it looks like that's mortar. But um, I probably would have used a bone looking grout so that it actually would fake you out and that, um, that you would have this as being the same color as these fake grout lines and I think that would look probably better but that's uh, very typical and as we go into this other room they stopped into the bedroom area they stopped and um, uh, did this little diamond this little uh, diamond back and forth which is a, a cool little transition because the other option you see this tile stops here the other option would have been to have a quarter tile which would have made no sense at all a quarter tile of either this or a quarter tile of this which I guess of that it wouldn't look bad but um, I kind of like this transitional um, on purpose type of thing so this is a step up uh, area of this house and again the same type of tile uh, where it's a design an intentional design with all the pieces that go together this is obviously supposed to look like rock and if it were me I would have done more of a gray grout rather than the tan the tan grout really doesn't match in but that's just me um, and then the plastic transition strip on the front to hide the edge of the tile and then we have this tile which is um, again pattern as I've said already um, it's pretty prevalent in Jamaica where there's patterns going on with the tile and although they use kind of a tan grout on here um, I don't know you know sometimes you know, what I'm trying to do is make it all kind of blend that's just me and, and so I would have probably it would have been hard because there's so many colors going on here uh, to make anything blend but um, they did a good job coming up into the house and so it just continues up into the house all the way and it actually goes into the kitchen and goes up to the countertops with the same type of design. Um, they used a plastic transition on here and then if you can see they just little little notches on the strip. So it's a straight strip but in order for it to bend they did little tiny notches on the top of it so they could bend it around and bend it around all the way to the edge and then when they got here um, they kind of sort of did a 45 close enough anyway and so yeah um, 
more transition on the top of here. They forgot one on the edge here, not a big deal. Don't even know why they did this little part. But um, it's pretty cool and it goes into the kitchen area. So this is very, very typical of um, a kitchen in Jamaica. They, this, is, this, is, this is all concrete and then on top of the concrete they just tile over it. Um, so backsplash I'm not fond of. This is another example, uh, pretty typical, how they set tile. Here in Jamaica, they actually pour, this is a second story floor, so they pour the floor um, with, with what you're looking at now. A lot of discrepancies, the floor is not um, flush. So everywhere you look, it looks like the moon um, just holes everywhere. They put tile on top of this and you can see the thin set um, is kind of missing. I don't know if there's a... So there is some thin set on here, or was some thin set on here, um, but it's kind of barely on there. They're, they're definitely not setting it the way we would set in the States. Um, and the reason I'm showing you that this isn't, this isn't everywhere. There are some masons who actually trowel out all their uh, concrete you know, and just make it nice and flat um, as opposed to all these holes that are in here. And then when the tile sits on top of it, you can't get a good grip. There's just, it's almost like spot buttering. You know, you see here, it's pretty clear um, that there's not enough thin set uh, probably on all of these tiles. Yeah, so the tile kind of sort of look like the opposite of this floor where there's just you know, big gaps missing and it's everywhere on this floor. And so the history on this is that the floor started buckling. If you watch enough YouTube videos, you will actually see where people have captured this tile buckling. And when it buckles, it sounds like, you know, bullets are going off, you know, bam, 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 bam. Um, and so I don't know that anybody has really pinpointed the reason, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that all of this air and then the hot weather here has a lot to do with um, with the buckling of tile. If anybody out there knows, uh, you know, 100% why tile buckles like that, um, put it in the comment section below. I would like to know because I have watched some videos in um, other countries where people, as I said, have captured it. And it's, it's, it's kind of a strange phenomenon where it, and it really doesn't matter that it's Jamaica. I've seen videos in the Philippines and other places where the tile have, like, like literally, this is a tile and that's a tile, and they've just they've come up to a point all the way across where the grout line is at. The buckling uh, phenomenon is uh, is a little odd. And as I said, probably due to the fact that they didn't really set their tile correctly. Although it could be moisture this trap. It could be a combination of the heat, moisture, air. I'm not really sure. I am currently at an abandoned house. Uh, this house, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this house is probably in excess of 50 years, if not better. It's been abandoned quite some time. And um, this tile, this floor tile, obviously still intact you see how they they kind of do their tile here it all meshes together which I'm always amazed at how how the concrete and the tile become one um, so it's it's quite amazing that this tile is not um, the way they do things here let me say is not the way we do things in the states and um, I'm, I'm quite intrigued by uh, older building uh, construction. So uh, this house has a bathroom which is a little interesting. Had a bathroom. Has one? Had one. And this is what we have. This is a cast iron, solid cast iron tub um, which weighs probably in excess of about 300 pounds. Um, and they built up their um, concrete all around it once it was in place and once the concrete was 
feathered out then they uh, put their tile on here and this is um, really really old <laughs> really old tile that mm, most of it is gone it, you can see where it was at it's fallen off the wall a long time ago but um, obviously it stood the test of time ceramic tile nothing fancy at all just normal everyday builders grade type tile that breaks pretty easy but has stayed on this wall for a long long time and what I was getting at on another portion of this video is how they how they actually uh, have these concrete this wall here is concrete block and then they do a process that's called flashing and when they flash out the concrete block then it looks like a stucco type material or something but it's really not it's just a surface layer type of thing and then whatever they're going to put over it whether it's paint or tile or whatever gets done at that point not really sure what this material is uh, it's a darker type material could be the mortar fence set rather could be the fence set but um but it's an interesting setup and you know as i said kind of stood the test of time however old this house is the wood is still intact more or less too the the wood is tougher in jamaica it's not like the pine that we're used to that rots out easy the wood is really really tough uh, so it looks like the sink was over here at one point i see the supply lines and i see where the caulking was for the sink of course that's long gone but uh, it's always it's always quite intriguing to see not just other people's work but you know older work like this. And then here's a looks like a toilet paper roller that uh, has refused to break. <laughs> yeah, interesting. The whole thing is interesting. There's the toilet hole and the toilet lid from where it was. So you could almost even picture how this bathroom was with the toilet sitting here next to the shower, which at some point it was a shower. Pipe came down there, fed the shower head, and then it also was a bathtub. Um, on another portion of this video, you see where they had built up um, about that same height, about 18 inches up, um, just block. And then you just step over it and the whole thing is tiled and it becomes a bathtub. So when you don't want to put a bathtub here like this, they, they make one with the tile anyway. And um, so there you go. Interesting. I'm at another abandoned house out here. And uh, this, this house is uh, very, very old. Has seen its better day, just like the other one. And here we have floor tile. This, to me, I'm going to guess this was a garage and they tile the garage for whatever reason and uh, it's it's clay, it's glazed clay what I call glazed clay and has definitely stood the test of time obviously a couple were broke but other than that they're all intact so uh, same same type of design feature I was telling you about earlier on the video where they have four tile that make a pattern and then that's just replicated over and over and over very very typical here in Jamaica to do that, there is a bathroom back in this house. There's a different tile altogether. This was probably the kitchen at one time. And this is the bathroom. So here we have uh, the same type of setup that I, I show in the video where they actually build. Um, the curb up about 14 15 inches and tile over the entire thing have everything sloped from one direction down as if it were a bathtub because it is a bathtub and then you also have the shower feature so it's a bath shower combo but what's really cool what's what I really like about these is that you, there's no use there they don't have a use for a bathtub in here this is longer than five foot long. This is about probably six and a half, seven foot long. Just a normal bathtub. So they're able to make their 
bathtub shower combo as long and as wide as they want to. They could have actually gone out further if they wanted to on here. That's where the toilet used to be, but they could have put the toilet further and they could have had a much wider area uh, to have this bathtub. And I, it's just a great idea. Here's another typical example. You have your, your hot and your cold and then you have your shower head up there, but then you also have they don't throw away the tub spout even though it's not going to be a tub because the GPM on the tub part is much greater than the shower head would have been. So of course, you know, they, they put that in there, they integrate it in so that they can pour their bath and uh, wash clothes and do anything they want to because, you know, they have this basin that they've created and then the drain is down there at the end and the tile is all slanted down there and then the back tile just smaller pieces just go to that direction to slant it down um, and more than likely because this is gray water it probably goes the pipe goes right outside of the house somewhere um, so it's kind of a a cool setup that I would probably never ever ever see in the states there's the sink used to be the sink And there's a master shower in here somewhere. There it is. So this is the second bathroom in this uh, house. This looked like it was a closet at one time. It had shelving boards on it and here was the toilet. And it sat right out this direction. And then the sink sat over here. And the pipe for the sink. Um, and then here's the shower. So. But another interesting, uh, not the shoe, but another interesting setup. Same thing, tub spout over here, hot in your cold, and your shower head. And it's a rather long shower, um, not so wide. And the curb is not as high as normal, but it's still enough room in there. Uh, sometimes, you know, people will wash their clothes and then all the tile is sloped down. And you notice the recurring theme about all these showers if they're using the larger tile. This is a 12 by 12 and we're just not doing larger format tile inside of a shower in the States. If we do, we're doing the lineal drain and they're not doing the lineal drain here. They still have just a single drain down here. In fact, it's a smaller drain than we're used to. So more than likely it's an inch and a half pipe that goes out. Um, but it works and all this tile is still intact as long as this house has been here except where they ripped off the toilet part uh, so interesting and the living room area again all the tile is intact despite how long this building has been abandoned and and or lived in everything's still intact oh here's an interesting kitchen um, almost every countertop you see in Jamaica, they're starting to get into granite now, the last probably five or eight years. Um, but every countertop that you see in Jamaica, you're going to see tiled. And nowadays, as I said, they're doing granite. Um, not all the time, but here you have that same design feature going on with these four tile. And yeah, this was the kitchen, kitchen sink area. And uh, old, old, old. <laughs> A little creepy. I think I'm gonna get out of here. And